Hello and welcome back. Today we talk about uh, the um, string on the windshield, the yaw string on the windshield. If you ask a real pilot, he would say uh, it's useless, absolutely unnecessary. That's because uh, he has something called experience. <laughs> um, so at the most time you find uh, the string on the windshield on sm small helicopters and most most of the time on helicopters involved in flight training because uh, student pilots did not have experience as you imagine. So first of all what is all about the string on the windshield? It's all about what is the front or the back on the rotor disc because as a pilot with a cyclic and uh, collective control you do not uh, control the helicopter itself, we control the rotor disc and the fuselage hanging on the rotor disc, just following the rotor disc. So what is the, f the front of the rotor disc and what is the back of the rotor disc and of course there is no front and no back side. But there may be a difference between the rotor disc's movement, uh, the flight path and the direction uh, the fuselage will point. So that's what the string tells us. What we show right now, so we follow straight out and um, we're flying straight out and uh, uh, the string points direct upwards on the fuselage so that we see uh, here on um, this map. So we have the flight path and the airflow comes direct from uh, the opposite direction so the string on the windshield is pointed upwards. One reason for uncoordinated flight is uh, because the pilot um, doesn't look forward out through the clear part of the windshield. Uh, he takes the middle part, the metal part, as a reference for the front side of the helicopter. And there's a difference between the pilot view and the middle part of the helicopter. And due to that difference, uh, the helicopter is not straight out uh, with the flight path. There's a small angle and uh, that will be indicated by the string or even by uh, the ball on the turn and slip coordinator. As we see right here on the video and uh, here on the drawing as well. So if the helicopter is not straight out with the flight path, we got the deflection of the string on the windshield. So in the gazelle, uh, when you look, when the pilot is looking straight out, it's the right edge of the instrument panel that uh, is our reference. That's the right reference, not the middle part of the windshield. It's the right edge of the instrument panel. And when we're using the right edge of the instrument panel as a reference for forward, the string on the windshield will point straight upwards so that's the correct way to do it but of course an unexperienced pilot may be confused and uh, take will take the middle part of the windshield as a reference it's the same in the other direction um, pushing left pedal so we get a deflection on the string on the windshield, but from the pilot's view it's not that good to see, so we have to change to the co-pilot, but uh, right now it, my co-pilot view doesn't work. But maybe, uh, I think it's, it's quite enough to see, good to see. So, again, deflection. and starting to turn. So, what, what, what happened when we don't fly coordinated, especially in, in uh, steep banks, uh, we got into a flight condition called slip. Um, that's a condition where the fuselage of the aircraft produces a big amount of drag and that causes a rapid loss of altitude. When we're flying high, that's no problem, but when we're flying low, there is no space we have to lost. If you lost, alt if you lost 20 feet altitude and 10 feet height, you have a big problem. So that's the reason why when we fly coordinated, we have less drag on the, on the fuselage because of the airflow. So um, it's much easier to control and the helicopter will 
follow a little bit better your uh, your inputs on on the on the instruments so it's the same thing in airplanes even airplanes are try, uh, using slip it's a it's an actual it's an it's a flight condition it's not an, an accident or something like that but if you're interested in uh, um, slip with an airplane or it's just a little bit better uh, explained in the video um, you can find the link to that video uh, in the comments below and when we went back to the air to the helicopter um, as I said earlier in a helicopter it can be uh, dangerous uh, and uh, at fatal if you um, produce a big um, a sudden big amount of drag on the fuselage you will, will lose altitude sudden losing or suddenly losing altitude um, and uh, actually it ends in a crash so helicopters flying low and fast there is an advantage to have a string on the windshield because there is even no time to look on the turn and slip on indicator on the instrument panel so you have actually something like a head up, head up display um, for turn and slip indication uh, and that's the reason for the windshield made on the gazelle it flies fast it flies slow and uh, it don't want to crash <laughs> so thank you for watching uh, and, and next time we talk about a little bit more about slip in a helicopter any further questions please let me know in the comments below. Thank you.